Hey there, everyone, this is Elk Album, Banjo Kazooie. I'm pretty sure that that big seam we see in that picture there is a byproduct of, uh, like, emulation, like, making the graphics better. Like, they don't necessarily take into account, like, how these. Because, see, go back down here and it looks fine. Anyways, hey there, everyone, Zach Album, playing Banjo Kazooie. Oh, the path is too slippery. I guess I'm stuck forever. All right, oh, gotta hold down the Z. There we go. Then you run up a thing, and there's some stuff all over the wall. All right. So last time, you know, we were in our first level. We did a whole bunch of stuff. So we got some, 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 you know, puzzle pieces, which we understand is what opens up big, like the the worlds themselves and the paintings. But now we see that the reason why we get the note, though, the music nodes, they are to open up doors within the hub world uh, that bar us from entry. We need to cast a musical spell. Mm, to do that, you need the notes. You know, you're gonna play a 50 note composition here. <laughs> And, uh, that's gonna open up the door. Uh, simple as that. Whoosh. See, it changed from 50 to note. Uh, wow, I was not reading a single word Bottle was saying. Just, I kind of know what he said. Oh my gosh, Grunty, don't get into a communication here. This was a private communication between a bear, a bird, and a mole. Alright, here we go. Then, you see, you, 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 you bow down, you go here, and you're in a brand new place. Uh, Oh my gosh, it's the Grunty Zone, and here's the guy. Get out of here. And she's having fun though. Seven lives, we got stairs down here. That's pretty wild. Here's everyone's best buddy in the whole wild world, Ding Pot. Activated the magic cauldron. Yeah, so, spoilers, I guess. You find other guys like this fella in the game, but, um, so, you said you can transport from one another, right? It is specifically cauldrons of the same color. I forgot there was a mumbo there. And, um, it's gonna be a while until they're actually usable. I always thought that was very strange, a decision. Anyways, there's the next painting. It's right here. I, I mean, that's where the next painting. What is it gonna open up, though? I don't know. It's called Treasure Trove Cove, a cove of treasure. And I put a picture in, and he's like, hey, do you want to remove a picture? I don't think you. there's ever any reason to remove one, because, yeah, like he says, like, once a picture is in, the picture is in. Like, you can't redo it. So it would involve you going to a picture, putting some pieces in, but then changing your mind. Anyway, there's a cove, there's a giant treasure box. And there's a treasure trove cove label on it, and there you go. Well, now you gotta find that place. Where is that place? I don't know. Here's the witch face. That's right! And, whoa, wrong button. I wanna do that. Uh, it just feels nice. Alright. Oh, here, there's a, there's a green thing here. There's a green thing here. What? This is a Kazooie shock disc. Alright, so this is true. Like, you know, we've experienced learning new moves and stuff, and that's always fun. But some of the moves are basically keys. I think you just can't really avoid that. Alright, where are we? I kind of remember this a little bit. Is that guy here? He's having fun. He's dead. He's gonna have even more fun that way. Okay, can't go there yet. 180. Uh, there's water, there's a pipe, can you go up here? I mean, you can't, I mean, there's certainly a door up here, alright, let's check that out, I got- Here I go! I go wahoo! Uh, where am I? Valid question. Oh, this is- looks like a whole thing. There's a button here. Alright, well, since we're here, so I'm gonna press this button, alright, look at that, it says like, hey, check it out. And then you have that bridge happen, as big old pipes, it's like, whoa, and I think it's permanent. So now you can go here now, if you want. Yeah, that's right. It's a big old sewer grate with another honey box zone. Everyone loves to honey box. And then you raise that pipe there. It's buttons and pipes all day long, man. Don't need none for nothing else, as they say in clear English. At all time, you can't stop me. There you go, mighty leap, uh, whoa, mighty slip. Yeah, whoa, you 
you have a lot of control. Like, your air control in this game is just fantabulous. All right. Hey! First intro through this lady. How do you speak? You just stand near. Hi! It's Brentilda! Okay. Oh, alright. She has a sister and she is nice. You can tell because she's wearing pink instead of black. Yeah. Uh huh, it's about time she was taught a lesson. Alright. So, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but what she says here is important. <laughs> At some point, way later in the game. Alright, so hit me up with the knowledge, Brentilda. To hear them, yeah, please do. Okay, her belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. Well, I don't think that's something you should be, like, celebrating. All right, swear. Uh, you wear an entire flea circus. All right, sounds pretty good. Also got this nasty pit dog. All right, leg chomper. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's ironic. And the sister sings in her own band. Oh, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. Alright, I mean, look, they're trying their best, they're just having fun together. Yeah, so, Tilda here has three sweet facts, this is a feather I'm collecting, by the way, has three sweet facts about her sister whenever you find her on the map, <laughs> and the info is actually important. Here's a grade here, and it's really rusty, considering it's literally underwater. Alright, just working on this, like, just... So I thought swimming this game was pretty good. Oh, there we go. So you need to hold R to like turn good. There you go. Going through the underwater pipe. What do we see in front of us? But more eggs to eat at a later date. Oh man. I think we're full. No, we can go up to Hundo. All right, there's our next painting. Bull Gloop Swap. Um. I do not have nearly enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I guess you could put things there, but I, I'm not going to, though. But yeah, look at that. So this is the next painting. So it looks like when I went in the pipe, I went at a place a little bit earlier than expected. That's okay. These kind of things happen whether you want to or not. I don't mind spending a day to just explore and have my way. And just, you know, kind of go around. Look at the underside of Banjo's feet. There's no texturing there. There's no friction underneath that bear's weight. So this is why he needs a bird's talon to help him deal with inclines. Mm -hmm. All right, it's really neat. Okay, what's the spell about? All right. Well, looking forward to it, Grunty. Sounds like a blast. Uh, Alright, let's go down this pipe now. <laughs> I say in a really weirdly stilted way. Yeah, here we go! Inside crusty old pipes, rusted through. Guy with a skull on his back, so you know he's popular. Oh, water drop in the foreground. See, look, see, so you find immediately this other cauldron. But the other cauldron is like vaguely purple, and this one is vaguely like brown. So, as a child, I just did not understand what I was missing with the interaction with these little cauldron guys, and I thought it was very frustrating. That's my story, it's very good. <laughs> oh, we're swimming now, the water level increased. So yeah, we need notes up there that we just don't have. Let's go down here, there's a very scary cave. It has like eyeballs and everything. All right, we got wet eggs. <laughs> Quite a delight. Mm, 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 wet eggs, look at that, wet egg. It goes brr brr All right, here's a twisty cave of ill intent. And here we go, see this is what I remember. You get this giant, well giant, it's not giant at all. But it's a very imposing, extremely empty painting. And it says click clock wood. And it's like, wow, well, I mean, I guess that's something we'll encounter later. This wood, like, I love the music here. So, one of my favorite things about this game. Is there something? Yay, yeah, look at that, it's you! Hi, what are you doing here? Mm hmm. Nickname Hog Breath. She really likes her ham. Can't blame her. 
Uh, putrid parrot puke. Uh, uh, that is very specific. And uh, the old hag's favorite color is gruesome. Hey, I love green too. I know her skin is green. That's, you know, related. I have no idea. So I forget what I was saying. Yeah, so, like, like the game has like 12 music pieces. But they're constantly remixed and reorchestrated and rearranged, and it and it's so rad. It's just so cool. So you know, whenever we get to the click clock wood level, we're gonna get some sweet pan flute. <laughs> get ready for that. And here it's all muted. Like it's so good. It's so cool. I want my wet eggs, so I'm gonna do a bad job to get them. All right, controls. Maybe a bit more loosey-goosey than I remember them in my brain. But that's just what brains are all about. What am I even talking about? Scary Mouth Zone! This is where we're going. Oh, but here we go. We got we got the accordion playing. Granty Amit, she's a hog! Yeah, you like a taste. Yeah. Hot dogs are good. There's a cannon. You can go on it. Gonna go like whoosh. Wow! Here's a painting of the ocean! Of the shore! Alright, let's get some feathers that I cannot even use at all. I wonder if that means anything about something we might find in the future. Very unlikely. Let's let's be real here. Alright, well... Whoa, br 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 so, yeah, there's another cannon there. There's a honey thing there. And uh, here's a big old box. You know what? I'm going to be super mean. I'm gonna make this today's episode. I mean, like, it took, like, you know, like, we're on, like, 12 minutes. A short episode. But tomorrow we start the grand adventure in Treasure Trove Co., which I have, can guarantee will take, like, two videos. Maybe? Maybe. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen in there. You don't want to overstep your boundaries, uh, right? 